Zemlyak for the Ukraine. And the Italians, that's uh, Cicbolo, Spaca, Bazzoni, and Greno. We saw Greno in the, international, in the individual 400, of course. And the French, uh, anchored by Floria Gay. So that is a tough French quartet as well. So... The women's 4x4, four four, the last uh, event for the women in this uh, European Championships. De Witt, uh, Laura De Witt and uh, Lisanne De Witt, Eva Hovenkamp and uh, Van Leuveren go for the Netherlands. So that's quite a good uh, quartet too on the evidence of these championships. Interesting that the British team have brought in uh, Ailey Doyle, 400 metre hurdler, superb form at the moment running well under 55 for the 400 meter hurdles but uh, she'll take the third leg it's a very long stagger it's uh, it's very difficult for athletes you've really got to be very experienced to take this it's about a, almost 80 meters from the inside to the outside and of course the Athletes then, on the second changeover, have the first bend in uh, in lanes, and then they go to the right into the inside on the back straight again. Britain going well down that uh, around the top bend and running very well right on the outside um, for the French Carsis, running very very well indeed. But this is a good run by Great Britain, actually. We'll see who, in fact, is in the lead as they come through. The Germans going well, so are the Italians. Now then, let's see. It's another bend in lanes. Honora's got the baton now and powers around that top bend. So it's Great Britain, Italy, France on the outside, Germany making some headway as they cut. They'll cut in. The Poles, a little bit of drift at the moment. And this is going to be Great Britain. As they break now for the inside... And Great Britain lead. France in second place. In third place is Germany. Fourth is Italy. Fifth is Poland. Really working very, very hard around that uh, top bend. And they're going to give the baton now to Ailey Doyle, who's in very good uh, form indeed. And Yika Anura has run so well. Beat Christina Hurugu in the individual 400, but looking good here. She's got a good lead coming into this uh, next changeover. We'll give to Ailey Doyle of Great Britain, who will be going to the Olympics in the 400 meter hurdles. Doyle about to take the baton. She's got it now. Germany in second. The Dutch coming through well. The Poles responding now. So Germany second as they go into that uh, third leg now with Ailey Doyle of Great Britain, and it is a big lead now. And Bundy Davis will have that lead on thereabouts because uh, certainly Doyle will not give that up. The French in third place, and the Poles really powering down the back straight there. Vezikajevic is running so strongly for the Poles, but uh, Great Britain and Northern Ireland absolutely miles ahead at the moment as they're coming in now to take the baton into the fourth leg. France in second place. Poland in third, Germany in fourth, and then the Ukraine, then Italy, then uh, the Netherlands, and Romania tailing in at the moment. Great Britain have it now. And the baton is with Seren Bundy Davis, who has about 30 metres now, and Gay, who is absolutely sensational in the 400. Now she's going to chase the Britain all the way down the back straight, and she is closing down the back straight. That's for certain, but whether there's enough time or distance left, we'll see. Germany in third place in the bronze medal position at the moment. So France second, Germany third. Into the final bend now. And Gay is closing down, but there's still a big margin. And Doyle's given Bundy Davis enough to hang on here. And Great Britain coming into the home straight. And Gay absolutely charging round, but there's not enough time for her. But there's a real battle on for the bronze medal at the moment. And it's uh, Germany versus the Ukraine and the Italians coming through. But Great Britain are the European champions. France get the silver medal. And right at the end, that was the Italians with Libania Greno, the really talented Greno. We said watch out for her, Libania Greno. And I think the Italians came through for third place in that relay. Well, gold medal for Great Britain, 3.25.05, a world-leading time.
So it really went well. Ely Doyle made a big difference on that third leg and gave Bundy Davis the sort of advantage that she needed to hold off uh, Glo uh, Floria Gay of France. Super stuff. Good relay and a terrific run by all four of the British quartet to take gold once again. Well, the Dutch not this time able to uh, take a medal away with them. They were in seventh place overall. So, look at Ailey Doyle waiting. There she is, hand out, visual. Anora hands of the bat, and it's a good lead. Anora set up the race, didn't she? And Doyle built on it. And then uh, Bundy Davis anchored them in, but uh, that was a. Uh, it's so busy in those changeovers. And you can see Gay, who is a sub 51 400 meter runner this year, absolutely superb. But look on the left of the shot at Greno, the French, the Italian, tall figure on the left, just overtaking the. The rest of them in the final stages. Good race, but Great Britain are gold medalists again.